Doubles and Coffee. Professor Ramesh Diosran, so listen to me very carefully because it is people like you, if you are quoted correctly and your words weren't twisted by the PNM Newsday who did not know that Indian Arrival Day and Diwali were two separate things. Professor Ramesh Diosran, you are a student of the Westminster system. You have operated in this society in many positions, understanding the roles and responsibilities of various individuals. So if what you are quoted as saying in the news day to day, and let me at first paraphrase before I quote your asininity, if you are trying to say and ascribing blame equally between the Prime Minister in a Westminster system and the leader of the opposition with regards to crime talks and crime plan and attacking the crime scourge, you are disingenuous, you are dishonest, and you are a man of low caliber. Anil O.E. Roberts is saying that because you know better and I know that you know better and you know that in a Westminster system, first past the post, the only person with the power to impact the crime, whether legislative agenda, whether crime reduction plans, whether uh, units and, and resourcing, whether crime fighting initiatives, border patrol, border security, uh, policing, police uh, technology, moving resources forward, implementing and ensuring the DPP is well staffed and the judiciary is moving forward, creating pla uh, crime plans observing and monitoring through the National Security Council is the Prime Minister of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago who controls every single resource and the leader of the opposition, whoever he may be or he, she may be, is totally irrelevant in the process. So for you to be equating and, and saying and, and attacking both the Prime Minister and the leader of the opposition equally is disingenuous, disrespectful, dishonest, and dangerous, Professor Ramesh Diosaran. Let's read some of your quotes from the Newsday, the Guardian, and, and, and upholding of Rowley's K Pax, just like you, criminologist Professor Ramesh Diosaran, and another one may care about he because he is of no significance. Cut out, this is Ramesh Diosaran quoted in the Newsday. Cut out the shadow boxing, bluffing and follow the constitution and parliamentary democracy, especially since the government insists on having only legislative matters in the crime talks. Okay, so first and foremost, you are an expert in crime criminology and crime fighting, and you are trying to suggest to the population that going in the parliament and passing some law is going to miraculously be the be-all and end-all of crime fight? Well, that's stupid, that's dotish, that's asinine, and that's dumb. We have laws. We have laws out the wazoo. The crime fighting is much more than legislative agenda. So your initial point about the, the PNM wants to talk about crime and only legislative agenda, not resourcing, not opportunities, not parenting, not criminology, not CCTV cameras, not border protection, not air guard, not diesel for coast guard, not radar, not roadblocks, not army and police patrols, not uh, implementation and re, re uh, assignment of gate and, and opportunities and talent identification and better resourcing and scanners in the port. None of these things. Just go in parliament and pass a piece of paper. That means uh, either you are senile or you are dishonest, Professor Ramesh Diosaran, man who spent his entire life studying criminology and the fight against crime. That is the most myopic, simplistic, puerile opinion I have ever heard. And you could not be so dumb, so you had to be dishonest. He continued, The required elements of mutual trust, compromise, and political respect have gone dead. Why have they gone dead? Who is the leader? The Prime Minister. You know you take no note that the Prime Minister, who you are trying to suggest is the equal person with the same amount of power and ability to impact the crime fight as the leader of the opposition, has said he is not attending crime talks. Why is your headline not, Rowley, stop playing games. Rowley, you are the Prime Minister. Rowley, take charge. Rowley, call the talks. Rowley, stop gallivanting. Rowley, go to the meeting. Rowley, allow all to come forward and give ideas. Why is that not your position? Because that's a fair and honest position. 
Why are you who's bumps here licking? What you need? At this stage in your life, you still need to lick around these k packs to get what? To be so old and to be so beholden to somebody for something to talk such a dishonest tripe is really sad for an elderly person. And I take no pleasure in blasting you. It, look at the pain on my face. It is so painful to know that a man who lived his entire life, who is so intelligent, could be so weak. The ocean continued. He compared the PNM and the UNC to behaving like Roman Emperor Nero playing the fiddle while Rome burned to the ashes around him. Well, that and all in your analogy. Nero was the ruler. Nero had power. Nero could impact. Nero was a dictator. Nero could change. Nero could make decisions to change and stop Rome from burning. Kamala is not Nero. Rowley is Nero here. Rowley is the Prime Minister in a Westminster system. Rowley controls and selects the cabinet. Rowley controls every tax dollar. Rowley even selected the Police Service Commission. Rowley controls the President. Rowley controls the Police Service Commission who selects the Commissioner of Police. Rowley controls the National Security Council. Rowley controls everything. So Rowley is Nero watching Trinidad and Tobago burn. How Kamala reaching that? How come I reach in that professor, Diosha? I want your answer. Because I really want to understand how a man with such intellect could be such a mental midget, such a dishonest human being, sir. Please answer me. He continued. Diosha demanded that both sides stop demoralizing the society. The Prime Minister is demoralizing the society. The Prime Minister is playing games. The Prime Minister has been in charge for eight years. The PNM, every time they're in charge, crime scourge increases. Keith Christopher Rowley has been implementing policies, cutting education, cutting talent identification, cutting sport, cutting gate, cutting tech work, cutting UTT, cutting cost cutting resources, cutting food, cutting food for children, cutting everything. And now the chickens have come home to roost and you want to throw Kamala in the mix? It is dishonest and disingenuous, Professor Ramesh Dosara. Number one, for you to be an expert to claim that some legislation that the PNM have. And on top of that, you if they have legislation, let them do it. Look today is Tuesday. We're not in the Senate because the PNM have no bills to pass. They have no legislative agenda. They are lazy and incompetent. You ain't talk about that. How can you talk about Kamala and Rowley being the same? Okay, well, here what to do, Ramesh Josran. Tell Rowley, call an election. Let me put Kamala as Prime Minister. And then we will see who will take action and who will not take action. You are disgusting as an old, elderly, brilliant, intelligent man who is letting this be disseminated in a newspaper as if a leader of the opposition could do anything. The leader of the an opposition in Westminster could only talk, go in parliament and debate. And since Rowley's go government came in with presiding officers like Blue Hair Lady and Kangaloo, now the fella, Tobogonian fella, is fair. Even debate was thwarted. The Prime Minister refuses to go to crime talks. He sent his PNM president to talk about crime talks just like you. To talk as if legislation, a piece of paper passed in the parliament that probably won't be proclaimed for six months could impact crime now. For you to suggest that is really dishonest, it's dangerous, and it shows that you, Professor Diosran, do not care about citizens who are dying daily, guns all over the place. You ain't talking about scanners and why they're using the mobile scanners and moving and giving the patrol units and making sure police and cars are fixed and maintained and get parts of them. You are not talking about the ports and why the scanners not moving, why the helicopters not flying, why there's no diesel in the Coast Guard whenever I go out there to fish all the vessels park up. You talking about Kamala, Kamala, Kamala. So Kamala go and pass a bill. Why is Oh, no bill. Oh, gosh. And police could do what they want. They have over 38 police get charged in the last three months. Them could do what they want and lock up people innocent until proven guilty. What is your point? Why do you equivocate? Why are you unable to put the blame squarely where it belongs on Keith Rowley flipping ball head? You're afraid of what you need. A contract, a brief. You need something, somebody to pay to say something. What it is, Professor Ramesh Diosaran, that could make somebody who should know better talk so much nonsense. The responsibility for the crime fight 
falls on the Prime Minister. Who is the Prime Minister? Keep Christopher Rowley. So stop the nonsense. Stop the lies. Stop mama guying people. For someone to be so intelligent and talk so much nonsense to misguide the population with the help of the PNM Newsday is dishonest and disgusting. Sir, I have lost every bit of respect that I may have had for you before. Zero. You are part and parcel of why crime in this country, governance in this country, and merit in this country will be forever lost. Because people like you, no matter how bright, no matter how experienced, no matter how old, always behave in such a manner to allow the PNM to do what they want. Because you lack the testicular fortitude to talk the truth. Bless. And Senna.